Now this little video is out of my normal. I normally don't do videos like this, but this has got to do with the Appalachian, and I'll explain why. Beautiful Scotland. Looks like the Appalachians in places you couldn't tell the difference. And what's happened is back before COVID hit, my son had done a DNA test to see if we had any Melungeon in us and stuff like that where we originated from because they was doing some ancestry work. And he come to find out there was no Melungeon, but we come from Scotland. Come from Scotland. Way back, 17, oh, about 1750, I guess. Well, anyway, come from a little old community like this here in Scotland called Balkwick, if I pronounce it right. Who am I? Who am I to say history about Scotland? But there's a lot of good subscribers on here that comments all the time. They can, they can correct me if I'm wrong. So forgive me if I say anything out of place. So I'm going to share with you strange pictures that my son and his wife took while in Scotland. And I'll explain to you how this is a big tie-in with the Appalachian people in these mountains. Now this is the most beautiful place, seems like, the pictures I've seen. This is a castle, the Dolan Castle. Now, they didn't call them lakes over there in Scotland, they call them locks, and they're all over the place. It's such beautiful country. And here's a mountainside up here, I guess Colander, they call it, correct me if I'm wrong, way up to pronounce it. There's such beautiful mountains up here in the highlands of Scotland. And the forest, look at this, they look, just look like you're looking up home in some places up these hollows so beautiful these forests and they got a lot in common with the Appalachians some places you can't really tell the difference what I was told my son and the little streams and creeks that comes out of these mountains look so commonplace don't they beautiful so beautiful really can't tell the difference in some places. These Appalachians and the old farmlands around these fields and the old trees. Now back in the States, Appalachians, this old rock wall could easily be 200 years old. But here in Scotland, you can add another zero on it. It could easily be 2,000 years old. So much history has went on here. So much time, ain't you? And here, they took pictures here at a church at Kirk. Old Celtic churches and stuff, old, old places. A graveyard here next to it. Here's another view of it. Some of the old churches are so beautiful, and they're old too, some of them. Old churches, old graveyards, go way back. And here's some, uh, here's a, a Celtic symbol, cross of some kind, back in the early days, picture of that. And the most famous person that come out of this area was Rob Roy. Now, he died in 1734. Here's his gravesite with his family. He's the most well known in this area. And here's a strange picture right here. This is a Druid fireplace up in the woods. Now does that look like orbs? Or is that bugs or reflections off the sun of a camera? Sun don't shine much in here, they said, where they was there. It was real cloudy and foggy. 
So is that bug or is that orbs? So much history here. You just don't know. And they went on around here, other places, what they call Boar's Rock. Here's a sign going to it. I guess that's the English pronunciation at top and the Scottish pronunciation at the bottom. And it's just a little site here where I guess the clans met, called the Boar's Rock. And it's a nice little place here, the pictures I've seen. But there is a strange picture here. I only got a couple of strange pictures they showed me, and I'm sharing them with you. Now here just behind the Boar's Rock, look at that. Don't that look like some of the places in these Appalachian Mountains? Can't tell the difference, can you? But this is looking over the side of it behind the Boar's Rock. And they've snapped a bunch of pictures. Here's the second picture. What is that in the distance? Like, it wasn't in the first picture, but it was in the next. I'll zoom in on it here. Said it just appeared up out of the ground. On, you know, just there. And I'm zooming in on it. Just don't know. So much history has happened here. But I, it's a, is it a reflection or a bug? There you go. That's what I hear. And here's the best close-up I can get without getting it distorted. It's like something walking around to me. Or then it could be an orb or something coming out of the ground. Or just a big bug, I guess. A reflection off the camera with no sun. You tell me. Here's the third picture they took. It was gone. So it's just a strange picture. Or it's just a glitch in the camera. You know, there ain't no film no more. This is all digital. So that's the strange picture. And as far as the tie-in with the Appalachians, I'll explain it to you here a little bit. Here on the moors of what they call in Inverness is a monument where they had the Battle of Culloden there. The final battle between the English and the Scottish. In this battle, the Scottish really lost bad. They lost almost around 2,000 Scottish fighting the British. The British only lost 300. That was a bad day for the Scots. That's the Battle of Culloden. It was fought 16th of April, 1746. Here's the monument, the plaque on the monument. So much history. But anyway, after this battle, the English rounded up all the troublemakers, and all the supporters, and all that, and had them executed. Well, they couldn't execute everybody. So the rest about t over about 20, over 20,000, I was told in story, that they shipped them to America. They shipped them out of there, troublemakers. Didn't want no more trouble. So they shipped them to America. And they, when they come here, as far as my end, best I can trace, come into North Carolina, up into Virginia, down into Tennessee, up into Kentucky, and just branched out from there. Generation after generation. We're talking over 200 years. And they intermixed with the Native Americans, too. So there you go. Now, these old mountains, here in these Appalachians and places in Scotland, they look so familiar. So familiar. But I know this old country boy will never see nothing like that. I'll never leave these mountains. I'll die and bury, be buried here in these mountains. 
So I thought I'd share this with you. This little, this little history. This is how it was tied in with the Appalachians. All these Scottish people come over here years and years ago before the Revolutionary War. And it didn't hesitate at all to fight the English when the time comes. So I want to thank you all for watching. God bless. And I'll see you next time.